Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Stocks Signals video for Tuesday the 23rd of April. So I'm going to be using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform for the two trades I'm going to set up today. Opposing trades, one long, one short. Uh, and also uh, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, NinjaTrader and very soon for the MT4 trading platform. So first of all, I've chosen MWA on the 60 minute time frame for a swing here. We want to be in and out of this before the end of the week. I just want to go through the main criteria for the setup of this. So overall with this long trade, we are bullish. We've had the double bottom down here, then we've had a nice long move up and we've had the pullback against there. So we've had a wave four pullback into our green probability zone, which represents an 85% probability we're going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. We also look at the performance of this wave four. So this wave four has pulled back and crowned between 90 and 140%, as you can see down here on this oscillator. The other uh, tool we measure the performance of the wave four is our false breakout stochastic. You can see here we've got a really strong yellow bar at the top here in the overbought zone, denoting a strong bullish trend. Then we pull back against that strong bullish trend crossover in the oversold zone. The likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So let's go for the entry strategy here. We want to be reasonably aggressive today. We want to be above the high of yesterday and also outside of the 6-4 moving average high, which is part of our indicator suite here, to get our position for that first hour's bar position. So 1097 is my entry long on MWA. Stop loss just below the wave four, low at 10.75. And the target's 11.33 there. Good risk reward of 1 to 1.6, right into the middle of our target zone. Okay, so that's the long. The short is on HUM. Similar setup, but the other way around, because we're looking for a short. So we've got a main bearish trend here. And we've got the one, the two, the three, uh, and the four now. Uh, on our Elliott Wave indicator suite, it's labelled that automatically, and the wave force pulled back up into the green zone, representing an 85% probability uh, that we will go on to make that new wave five low this time in our automated target zone. So again, look at the performance of the wave four. We pulled back against that wave three on the oscillator and have moved into that 90 to 140% zone. The stochastic, we've got the false breakout on the bottom here now, denoting a very strong bearish trend. We've pulled back against there, crossed over in the overbought zone, and now we're looking to return to that main bearish trend. So entry, reasonably simple here. We want to be outside the, uh, again, this is a 60 minute time frame for an HUM. We want to be outside of the 6-4 moving average low this time because we're going short. Again, part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite and the strategy that we're cheap. We we teach on the boot count that's associated with it. So the slow entry, the short entry on HUM is 23950. The stop loss 24808 and the target's all the way down here at 220. But even to this previous low here, we are a risk reward of 1 to 1.6. So good looking risk reward, sensible entry strategy. We're below the low of yesterday by far. Uh, we're outside the 6-4 moving average low and very, very good looking trade setup. So good. Two good looking trade setups, opposing trades, one long, one short, but using the same methodology, methodology with the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, measuring those pullbacks on that wave for good, strong, high probability moves, both long and short. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.